Man, that dude sounds so smooth. I've, I've had my eye on this dude for a little minute. You guys gotta check him out on Instagram. George Grandfather, I'll leave a link to his page. Go check him out. He is a teacher, I believe, out in Ohio. He teaches at a Creative Arts Academy. And it's incredible, man. The reason I chose this song was because on, on my website, we have a member challenge every month. And so they pick a key and everyone has to do a song in that key. So this week they picked the key of B. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of songs in B. So I was looking for one to have the Jason White song. And this, this song is just so tasteful, man. It sounds like he's barely even trying. Man. It just sounds like he's just, sounds like it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's just so smooth with it, but he has a lot of dope chords and a lot of dope movements. And actually, if you check on his channel, he's got some fire stuff on there, man. So y'all go check that out. Okay, so let's start from the top. And um, what we'll do is we'll try to find three, four sections we can use that I can break down for you guys on the channel. Oh, so. So that, though, that movement is really nice. Nice, strong jazz vocabulary there that we're hearing from him. And the way I'm seeing this is that you have an F sharp sus voicing moving to an F dominant voicing. Right now on the F sharp sus voicing, he has this melodic device that he's using to connect the two chords. So this chord here is connecting with this chord by the use of a lick that's based on the A flat melodic minor scale. And he's taking it and he's doing the third but he's taking that B and he's moving it down here. And he's starting this, right? But he's only doing the first few notes of the lick, but he's starting this, but he's starting this from a half step before. Right, so that's that's using the melodic device. And then he, he gets off of it because he, he has to maintain the consistency of the time. See? So, so let's play it with him, see how that sounds together with him, just to make sure that we got it all. Okay, so actually that sounds like he's moving to a, a flat nine instead of, instead of moving to the, like I said, a dominant chord. It is a dominant, but the tension note. I think I'm now hearing that that F sharp should be a G there. So, so that, I think that's it. So let me, let's play that with him, make sure. Yeah, so that's right. So. I'll make that correction, F sharp, flat nine, and let's keep on going and see what else we have there. You guys, check out the rest of his videos. Really dope, man. Really just great videos, great voicings and vocabularies and movements that you can have. You know, the key of B is a key that a lot of you don't have a lot of movements in. So by listening to him, listening to this song and studying this song and the vocabulary in the song, then when you're in the key of B, you'll have all kind of movements that you can do. Right? So that's why we do this and that's why we study this channel. That's why we subscribe to this channel. Okay, so here's a, let's do another movement here. So check this out. Oh, so that part there. So what was that? So those are, he's moving in fourths there. So he has this E flat, A flat, D flat, and, and, and G flat, right? And I talked about this in another video I did where there was a video I did of Mike Burrell. I'll put a link in the description. I was talking about how Mike Burrell was using this kind of minus seven fourth sound to connect voicings. And that's the same thing that's happening here. So this is, these notes are just moving up a half step. So let's play that with him, make sure that it works out. Okay. A lot of nice inner movements, man. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more section, but that's not gonna be it. So let me do one more. Really enjoy listening to that, and especially new musicians that you guys may not have um, been aware of if you've been following this channel. Oof. Yeah, man. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. So what's going on there? Well, I think what's happening here is that he is riffing off the, the D major scale. And let's start from the third note, which is the F sharp, the fifth note, which is an A, but take that A down an octave and walk up the D major scale. And then we'll end on a G major seven chord. Here's a G major seven with the F sharp is up at the top, but we're gonna take that F sharp and we'll put it here at the bottom, right? Not in drop two position, this is just an inversion, right? So it's gonna be. Um, and then what's after that? Okay, so. And now he's back. <laughs> Now that lick came from nowhere in the key of B. Who would have known that in the key of B, you could have gone and done a riff up a minor third in D, right? And done your riff and go right back to B again. Incredible stuff. This is just some amazing stuff. Okay, well, I think we'll stop there. Playing in the key of B is not easy for a lot of us as we, uh, gospel musicians. It's not a key that we're familiar in, but I'm hoping that this will give you some ideas to use that you can use in the key of B. love how he's been using force and he's using a lot of uh, minor seven flat fives if, and you can hear some of that stuff in there. These are some of the traits that uh, jazz musicians will use. They'll use this force and they'll use minor seven flat fives as passing elements and he's using this all over the song. Listen to the video again and you'll hear some of that. So thanks again and I guess that will be it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll check you guys later.